One of the other characters says Mrs. Sullen is a curious lady from London. So I really wanted there to be a sense that there was something curious and unusual about her. She's very confident and she believes herself to be better than the people around her. So it was really important that I felt amazing in this dress and that it gave an air of sophistication that the other characters didn't have. There's something about the corseted nature of this and the high neck which makes your posture change um, and the red leather gloves and the sort of style of the wig being very done in a way that the other lady's hair is much more natural. Just little things like that can really make you feel like the character and, and help the audience understand who you are. So at the beginning of the play, we see Mrs. Sullen closed and tight. She's decided to sort of armour herself, so almost every inch of her is covered. And as we see her meet Archer, there's a sense that she's getting in touch with her sensuality again. So the neck becomes bare, and we see Mrs. Sullen in a slightly different costume. <laughs> a little bit more flesh on show, not too much. Lizzie had some amazing ideas. She wanted the characters to look like real people, not just kind of historical artefacts. She liked the idea that it was a very tailored look and much more streamlined, less frilly and flowery and flouncy than the country women. We talked about it almost being like a male riding habit. Practically, costume's important in terms of can you move in it? Can you breathe in it? Can you run up and down stairs in it? We have a set on three levels in this production. So I needed the length of the dress to remain period, but also be usable in terms of the amount of movement that I have to do. So it looks like a big, heavy dress, but actually once it's on, the skirts have virtually no weight to them. Your own kind of use of the dress is important as well. So my first job was with Zoe Wanamaker and I remember her saying, I always get pockets in my dress and at the time I didn't understand, but I absolutely do that now. I've copied her. The other night, for example, a bit of Pippa Bennett Warner's costume fell off and I was able to pick it up, pop it in a pocket and I think then it's not distracting for the audience. And it means that when I've got props on stage that I don't want to use, I've got somewhere to put them. It's a great costume. I love wearing this dress. In terms of feeling like the character, it's really important and I think is a really good compromise of allowing for me to do my job but also be in period. Mm -hmm.